Hi, uh, my name is Leo de Monteil, and in this video I'll be doing an analysis and calculating the velocity of my tennis serve. This idea first came to me when I saw John Eisner, an American tennis player, hit a serve that went up to 253 kilometers per hour. Now this itself was very impressive and is an incredible skill to have on court, but I was also curious, how does mine compare to his? So there was only one way to figure it out. I went on a court. And after hitting a few serves, I decided to measure the distance of one of them, which turned out to bounce in 47 inches from the center line. And measuring the rest of the court using a 12 feet flexometer, I calculated that the ball traveled 673 inches or 17.094 meters. I then followed to take a picture with the flexometer pointing at 3 feet, but taking into account the distance of the flexometer, which is about 1 inch, 1 inch and a half, making that 3.1 feet or 0.96 meters. This was later used in a tracker program to calibrate the dimensions and calculate the total height of the ball at its maximum height and at the contact point. After filming, I transferred the footage to the tracker probe. Here, using the tools given to me by the program, I tracked the ball through the air and measured its maximum height and the contact point, as well as the time it spent in the air. And by the end, I decided to go with a side view and a back view of the serve. And in order to have a more precise calculation, I averaged the two maximum heights of the footage and also the contact point with the ball. As you can see, the program gives us exactly the maximum height by tracking the ball's motion. And on the side view, the ball does exactly the same, tracking the ball moving through the air. After doing so, I took the constants and separated them in the x and y direction. For the x direction, we calculated the velocity initial, which is the same all throughout the movement, using the formula velocity equals change in x over time. This gave us the result of 33.649 meters per second. As for the variables on the y direction, we already had the acceleration due to gravity, the change in position in the y direction, and the time spent in the air. The velocity initial in the y direction was calculated through the change of position in the y direction equaling velocity initial times time plus half the acceleration times time squared. This resulted in 3.736 meters per second. And now that we had that we could use the velocity final equals velocity initial plus acceleration times time to find the velocity final. This resulted in 8.72 meters per second. Once we calculated the velocity in the x and y direction, we could find the resultant velocity using the Pythagorean theorem. This showed that the resultant velocity was of 33.84 meters per second, or 121.8 kilometers per hour. In comparing that to John Eisner's serves of 253 kilometers per hour, his serve is 2.07 times faster than mine. And having the velocity components of the x and y direction, we can calculate the angle at which the ball traveled through the air. Using the formula of the inverse tangent of the velocity in the y direction over the velocity in the x direction. This resulted in 6.3 degrees below the horizon. And there you have it. With a bit of my skill and the help of the tracker program, we were able to calculate the velocity of my serve and compare it to one of the greatest players of the sport. Thank you.